Cooking for large crowd is not a sherry sherry something, but I hear this a lot that Ghana Sierra Leone jollof rice is better than Nigerian jollof rice. Ask me, I'm a Nigerian half caste, a Yoruba and Calabar girl. Let me show you my own version. So this jollof rice I want to cook is for about 150 people and I can tell cooking for 20 people or thereabout is not like cooking for our own big crowd. My pot is now on fire and the first thing I do is pour my vegetable oil and I will fry my tomato puree, which is the derika. I'm sure everyone knows it. I will fry it for about 10 minutes, then I will add my blended pepper, which is the rodo, tatashe, and onions. I mix it very well and I will cover it to cook for about 20 minutes, then I begin to add my seasoning. The type of seasoning you will use will depend on the outcome of your jollof fries. Oh yeah now, I'll add thyme, maggi arome, jollof fry seasoning, then I'll mix it together before adding my salt, and my no, which I have crushed. If you think I'm lying, try that Maggi Arome and you will thank me later. You will then cover to cook again before you add your meat stock, which if you don't have, don't worry, just use water to cook it. Stir very well, then cover to cook. Now it's time to add rice, which I have washed. In the opinion of some, they pre-cook their rice, but how possible can you do that in the case of large cooking? You cover it to cook for about 40 minutes. Now this is optional. But I like to use it, which is the butter and um, onions, which gives it a different flavor and um, taste entirely. Now I will stir very well and I will use um, tin foil to cover it because you actually need steam to cook jollof rice. Okay, now our jollof rice is ready. Please be advised that this video has been trimmed to just two minutes to accommodate the cooking process. Now let me hear your own version in the comment section.